Hey, what is going on guys? Greg FPS, and today I have some new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare information to let you guys know about. So there's actually going to be three editions coming out with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So I'm going to pretty much explain each and every one for you guys here in this video. I'm also going to show you guys some screenshots and let you know what else you can get when Advanced Warfare comes out. All right, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so first I want to start off by saying thank you so much for checking out this video and today we have some really really good information. So first I'm going to be letting you guys know about the different additions you can get for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. As you guys know, just the standard version of the game is going to be $59.99 like pretty much every game that's been coming out lately. And there's actually three different editions that you can get. So the first one is the Atlas Limited Edition, which is going to be $79.99. The next one is the Digital Pro Edition, which is going to be $99.99. And last is the Atlas Pro Edition, which is going to be $119.99. Now, obviously, this is really good pricing, considering that other prestige editions in the past have been upwards of $200, sometimes even more. So I think the pricing is pretty good on Activision's part and they're not trying to be huge money whores yet anyway. So basically I'm going to let you guys know what's in, what is in the Atlas Limited Edition and then if you guys want to check out more information about it, the link to the webpage will be down in the description and you guys can check it out and read it for yourself and really decide which one you actually want to get. So in the Atlas Pro Edition, it's going to be coming with a map called Atlas Gorge which is actually a remade version of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare map Pipeline. Pipeline was always a great map, there was a lot of different engagements you could have and it was great for using snipers, shotguns, submachine guns, assault rifles, etc, etc. You could pretty much use any gun on any of the map which just makes it that much better. The next thing is a thing called Atlas Digital Content Pack which is inspired by the Atlas Corporation, the most powerful PMC in the world. This pack features an array of customized in-game content and more. The next thing is you're also going to get two weapons right off the bat. The BAL 27, which is an assault rifle, and the Atlas 45 pistol. And trick out your loadout with these two sleek weapons fitted with an Atlas Corporation theme to match your other custom content. The next thing is the Atlas Exoskeleton. Strike fear into competition with your PMC issued white, red, and black custom Atlas Exoskeleton and ensure the opponents remember who took them out. So basically, if you guys didn't really know, the Exoskeleton things are basically going to be customizable, kind of like your gun. It's going to let your teammates know like who you are and you can kind of trick it out and kind of show off things that maybe other people wouldn't have, so it makes it pretty cool. The next thing is the Atlas Helmet, a state-of-the-art custom Atlas Helmet, and obviously that's in-game content. The next thing is Atlas Player Card. Leave your mark on any kill cam with an Atlas Player Card, featuring both a custom Atlas calling card and emblem. So this means that we're going to be getting back what they had in the Modern Warfare series as well as Call of Duty Ghosts, where there's going to be custom player cards as well as emblems. So that's really good news actually because that was really much better than creating your own in Black Ops, at least in my opinion, because we've all seen enough dicks on there and we don't really need to see any more. The next thing is five bonus supply drops. Be prepared for battle as soon as you boot up with five bonus supply drops with which unlock a variety of in-game content from player customization gear to weapons. Next is single player exoskeleton upgrade token. Over the course of campaign mode, players unlock exoskeleton perks and abilities that help tackle various obstacles and challenges. This token provides an extra upgrade for your exoskeleton, so you're already at an advantage when jumping into the campaign. So that's pretty cool. And the next thing is the Atlas Soldier Manual, which is pretty much just the game god, I guess. Also, you'll get the official Call of Duty Advanced Warfare soundtrack. So that's going to be pretty sweet because I can use some of that music in the background of some of my videos. Next thing is upgrade your playlist with a digital copy of the in-game score featuring main title and theme of Perry Gregson Williams as an original soundtrack by Audio Machine. I guess that's the same thing. And then you'll get the Steelbook. So that's just the regular edition. Uh, that's going to be $79.99, so it's only 20 bucks more. It's not too bad. You get the free map, which I'm excited about, actually, and some other stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think down in the description, and I just have a couple more pictures to show you guys screenshots from Advanced Warfare. Let's get right into that. All right, guys, so recently they released a quick campaign story trailer for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. At the end, they showed a five-second 
trailer type thing for multiplayer and these are some screenshots taken from that for you guys now this first screenshot looks pretty cool all the maps look kind of run down a little bit this one looks kind of like sovereign it's going to be some sort of facility uh, maybe they're manufacturing weapons or something like that it looks pretty nice i'm pretty excited for this one overall it just has a futuristic touch and it looks really really nice i love how they're just bringing that futuristic aspects into it i really think it's going to innovate how we play call of duty now this one is a gun it looks really awesome and this guy is jumping up in the air and he actually gets a thing called skeet shooter for shooting him and the really cool thing if you can notice in the bottom right hand corner in this picture these score streaks actually have points so you need to acquire points to get the kill streaks it looks like the first one's uav and the second one's probably some sort of mini helicopter that follows you around so overall that looks really 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 cool because it means that we're going to have score streaks and the same score streak system that we had in black ops 2 so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and i'll see you guys later this has been greg fps peace out and have a great day